All right, today is a wonderful day. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. I am uh, up in town for the shop, running around doing some errands related to the Porsche. Um, I'm trying to get as much stuff done as possible with the Porsche because I'm moving out of the shop and I want to drive it uh, to my new place rather than getting it towed or whatever. So ideally I would like to fix everything before, well not fix everything, but get everything to where I can drive it uh, reliably, uh, basically down 80 miles or so. So today in order to uh, actually drive around the streets without being worried about getting pulled over all the time, I went and got it registered, which was fun and not cheap. Uh, but because it's a uh, classic plates, no emissions, but it lasts for five years, so you have to pay for five years of registration, essentially. Um, I also picked up some roll pins um, for the CV axles. I've been driving around with no roll pins, which is a bad practice, but I haven't driven it that far, so I'm not too worried about it, but I got some roll pins so I can throw those in there, uh, and that is something that needs to happen. I'd like to maybe look around and uh, I'd like to make some poly, polyurethane um, or rubber, something like that, uh, engine mounts, or transmission mounts rather, because it has engine mounts, uh, but it needs transmission mounts that are isolating. What else, what else, what else? Uh, it is missing a nut on the rear trailing arm. The uh, nut that holds the rear trailing arm is gone, uh, so I'm gonna pull the one off I think, it's, I think it's missing off the uh, passenger side. So I'm gonna pull the driver's side one off, bring it to a hardware store, hopefully find uh, one that matches, and then I'll have that. And then I need the washers for the CV axle. Right now I just have nuts that go against the hub, and there's supposed to be a washer behind there so that you can tighten it down more and it'll still spin. So, gonna go find some washers as well. And uh, yeah, that's what I have in store for today to sort of keep on getting it more and more safe to drive. So yeah, let's go uh, stop by the shop, pull off one of those CV axle nuts, pull off that other uh, nut for the trailing arm, and then head to the hardware store, see what we can find. Pulled the fender off so that the car looks like a Mad Max off-road mobile. Uh, just pulled off the center nut, and as you can tell, there's supposed to be a washer in there, which I don't have. And then I pulled off this nut because it's the same size. The one that's missing is on the inside. But just gotta go find a nut in these threads. Hopefully should be available somewhere. Uh, but yeah, gonna go find these, run to the store. Uh, today while I'm here I'll probably be cutting a hole in the front bumper as well. As well as the, I've got this valence right here. And attaching that so that uh, there's some airflow to the radiator because currently it's uh, pretty limited on airflow. There's a couple little holes underneath there, but that's all the airflow it's getting. Uh, and there's big holes that I cut underneath here, so when I cut this out, there's a big opening and it'll get plenty of airflow. I did that on one of the first videos, but the bumper has to be cut in order for that to work. So let's head to the hardware store. Got the car a little bit taken apart and a little bit put back together. Um, as you can see on the front end, the bumper is cut out, and you can see, uh, I, I sort of just did a rough cut for now. But you can see there's going to be plenty of airflow through there now. Uh, I fixed the hood so that it sits flush again. I need a new seal in here, but it sits mostly flush for the most part. I took all the fenders off, because I wanted to drive it around without them on for a little while, just to uh, see... Uh, how it felt without them just so that I could hear if there's any weird noises or anything without wondering if they were the fenders or not. Got a washer back behind there and then the bolt for this is on the other side. It's uh, on the inside but it's on there now so I think it's good to go. I've got my Tim tag on there and I've got my roof in there, as well as the strut back on there, so the uh, trunk holds itself up open again, which is pretty nice. And my scan tool, so that I can see if anything's going wrong while I'm driving it. So I think I'm gonna take it out for a cruise. Uh, probably take it by the car wash as well and spray it down. I, that's why I'm bringing my roof with me. So I can spray it down without getting the interior all soaked. Yeah, she's looking pretty good. 
Um, I'll take it apart. I think it looks pretty sort of ridiculous and awesome with them off. It's running fine, but it's not wanting to stay cool. Um, even with the fans on, I don't know what the deal is. As you can see, the expansion tank is full, like completely full. Now, the other cap wasn't holding pressure, so uh, that was an issue because now, because the expansion tank wasn't filling up, it was just pissing out this out of the radiator. Now the expansion tank is filling up, so it's still getting too hot. Um, but. The expansion tank as well as the out radiator hose are both nice and cool, which is odd. Um, because it's cooling fine. But still, uh, it's getting warm when it sits in idle, so I'm not going to do that anymore. I don't have time to deal with it today, so that'll be another day's project. But, uh, yeah, it runs and drives. It's just getting a little warm now. It was up in the... above where I wanted it to be, over 220, uh, which is obviously too hot. Uh, this temp gauge is working though, as you can see, it's in the red, which is good. Operating temperature is just under the red, which easy to remember. Um, but yeah, I'm not quite too sure what it is. I guess we're going to have to play with it later. I don't know if that thermostat isn't opening or something. Uh, I guess that could totally be the issue, but we will see. I'm not too concerned about it. It gives me another day's worth of uh, content, so I'm okay. But uh, yeah, that was my first day I got to like drive around legally. I didn't record a bunch because I don't have anywhere to put my camera right now. I need to go dig my GoPro out so I can mount it on the glass. But uh, yeah, look forward to more driving videos. Look forward to video figuring out this freaking cooling system. Um, yeah, that's going to be it. So I'm going to end it off here. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.